in commercializing technology. What, what I have used uh, in, in my career. I want to share that uh, with you. Uh, what I have done is I'm a great fan of 80-20 principle. Now, why, why is that important to me? Is for me, I want to know what is it that matters most. And, and so I naturally gravitate towards uh, finding the things which matter most in a business. So here, in commercializing technology, I have essentially identified five critical steps. Feasibility study and business plan, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Funding, uh, building a team and developing the product, developing a sales and marketing team, and then building distribution channels. Now, when you talk about feasibility study, now let me define what I mean by that. Feasibility study is, I have this wonderful idea. Can I actually convert this idea into a product? I would like my car to produce 500 miles a gallon. Can I actually do that? How do you, how do you evaluate that that is possible? So, so you focus on three things. You focus on know-how. Does the existing know-how state of technology allow that? That is more of a theoretical exercise. Say, OK, uh, somebody did something which was close to it. So we have some idea that it can be done. So you essentially are doing a lot of research. You're, you, you, you are going through journal papers. You're going through patents. And you're trying to figure out whether the know-how exists for, for a particular idea. On the left-hand side, we talk about feasibility study. On the right-hand side, we're going to talk about the business plan. And we'll get that in a minute. Feasibility study is where I'm focusing on. Now you're trying to determine whether the product can be built. Now here, you're talking about demonstration. A demonstration is different than a uh, uh, it is different than a prototype. Demonstration is actually a crude prototype. You're trying to demonstrate the technology can be made into a product. And it doesn't have to be manufactured. It doesn't have to be manufacturable. It doesn't have to be cost effective, right? So the steps you follow is trying to find out know-how exists, trying to analyze whether you can build a crude prototype to demonstrate your idea. And once you have determined that, then you actually demonstrate by a crude prototype that the technology is possible. Right? So that is the definition of feasibility study uh, for me. Now,